Y okay, vamos. Vamos, Canaria. Ánimo para la gente de La Palma. Mis hermanos. Venga. Santiago Martín, starting day eight of the Camino Primitivo. I am just leaving the Pension Casa Manolo here in Afon Sagrado. Great spot, I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, this morning I woke up with a little bit of a cold, and so rather than starting with low energy, I had a great little breakfast. Uh, Today's route is going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit less difficult, but the weather forecast says that the uh, rain might return after 2 p.m. So I hope we don't get rain today and uh, I will continue on towards Santiago de Compostela on day eight of the Camino Primitivo. Well, I'm about two and a half hours into the walk. I made good progress, but I did get lost once again. I saw Douglas stopped up ahead of me consulting maps and GPS, and then I saw the two gentlemen from Switzerland. So we all came to the conclusion that we had to turn around. Unfortunately, we went downhill quite a ways and then we had to go back up quite a ways. So anyways, that happens, especially when it's foggy and it was very foggy. Camino. Here at the top of the mountain, there's a couple of uh, picnic tables. Um, this is, uh, I believe, about 10 kilometers past Afonso Sagrado. And uh, we're nearing the halfway point. And the picnic tables are just in the perfect spot to take a break, eat a snack, um, and relax a little bit. So I'm enjoying the beautiful views. Uh, it's incredible up here. You can see the fog still below. It's uh, currently about 10 a.m. 
I left uh, Fon Sagrado at about seven. So I've been walking for three hours and uh, the weather has been cool. I'm sure that's gonna change. There's also rain in the forecast. So uh, I hope that it doesn't, count, doesn't come down too hard, but when you're on the Camino, you have to be ready for that. If it rains, it rains, you just keep on going. Okay, I stopped at Parada Bella. There's a little uh, bar restaurant on the left side, right when you end the descent. And they have great empanadas, cafe con leche, and a shady spot to rest, go to the bathroom, do whatever you need to do. It was well worth stopping because now I have energy to continue onward. Day eight has been a fantastic day. It's been full of variety and surprises. We started off with cool, foggy weather, and as the day went on, it became warm and sunny. We had a variety of terrain as well with uh, hills and uh, valleys and um, long, flat stretches. There was a little bit of everything as far as terrain. We also had shady patches in the forest. We had bare patches on the top of hilltops. We saw a lot of different types of uh, structures. Uh, there were many chapels, many churches. There was also a fantastic um, hilltop uh, area that had the ruins of an ancient hospital. Overall, it was a uh, fairly challenging day. Uh, 
it was fairly long and I'm happy to say that the rain did not start until a couple of hours after arriving in Baleda where I had a room reserved at the Porta Santa Pension. So looking forward to day nine.